Hello, welcome to the Darlin Art Studio Bobble Necklace Spring Edition video tutorial. Thanks for joining the fun. We are going to make a necklace today similar to this. I say similar because they're all unique, um, but they're all bright, colorful, and oversized, right on trend for spring 2021 fashions. So I have a kit here. We're gonna go over the supplies, the steps, and some of my tips and tricks. Here we go. Okay, so here we are with all of our supplies and our kit. My first tip for you is to grab a piece of fabric or a towel and lay that down to define your workspace. It's also gonna help prevent your beads from rolling away from you as you're designing. So in our kit, we have our instruction sheet. This will give us our supplies, our steps, a close look at how we're going to do our adjustable clasp and some tips. You're going to have approximately 15 themed beads, plus or minus one or two. I chose the beads to coordinate together well, both stylistically and their colors, and to create a nice finished necklace length. You'll have three beads here that we will use to make your adjustable clasp and 48 inches of waxed cotton cord. 48 inches is going to be plenty of length to give you a nice long necklace if that's your preference and you can always trim it if you'd like it to be shorter. I chose the waxed cotton cord because it is very sturdy and durable. The wax gives it um, a smooth texture and it prevents it from fraying as well. And do note that this will um, soften up a bit over time. All right, so step one is going to be designing your necklace. This is the most fun part. You're gonna notice with your beads as you start to line them up that you don't have the beads to make it perfectly symmetrical, which might be your instinct. You want it to look exactly the same on both sides. I designed these kits um, with the idea being these would be asymmetrical necklaces. So I encourage you to embrace that and make them a little funky with maybe a block of colors to one side, um, another block on the other but just play around, have some fun, and design your necklace. Once you have your beads how you'd like them, the next step is going to be stringing our beads. So we are going to tie a very loose knot in one end just so they don't escape off the other end as we're stringing them. You may notice some of your beads have smaller holes than others and it might be kind of tricky to get them on. My tip is going to be to twist and also you can squeeze the end of your waxed cotton cord here and get it nice and sturdy again and into a point at the end and it should be able to slide right on. If you still have trouble after trying that, go ahead and use your scissors and make a fresh cut to the end of your cord and reform that into a nice sturdy point again and you should have no trouble getting your beads on. We're going to continue along here and get our design onto our cord. Okay, our last step is going to be creating our adjustable clasp. You're going to get out the three beads in your smaller baggie. The black bead here is going to be the center bead and is going to have both 
ends of the cord going through it, it is going to have a hole just big enough to accommodate both cords, but tight enough that it's going to hold the necklace in place at whatever length you decide. So you're going to want to start by putting one end through and then you'll line up the second cord here going in the opposite direction. You're going to kind of smush these together really well and then push your bead over both of the cords. Once you get that through, kind of pull it on this way. So now you can see that it's pretty snug, so it's going to hold the necklace at the length we pick, but also allow us to make it short one day with one outfit, and then maybe wear it um, nice and long another day with a different top or dress. So as you decide the length you want, one thing that is important to consider is that you make it long enough to be able to slip over your head. You don't want to decide that you want a really short necklace, finish it off, but then realize you can't fit this over your head to get it on. Once you've determined kind of how you want it, um, we're going to use our silver beads Slip those on and then tie a knot. So if you want to use all this length, you can tie your knot here right at the end. If you decide, you know, maybe this is the longest I'm going to ever want to wear my necklace, you can put on your silver bead and tie your knot here and then trim off the end. Then you will just repeat on the other side. All right. So there you have it, an adjustable bobble necklace. I hope that you love your new necklace. If you do choose to share this, um, I would love to see it. So please tag the Darlin Art Studio. And you can also use the hashtag DASKits. Thank you, enjoy.